Good afternoon. More and more businesses are hiring as the state loosens COVID restrictions. But despite high unemployment numbers, some industries still aren't able to fill needed positions. News 13's Jackie Kent is live off Central and Laguna with details. Jackie. Yeah, it's hard to miss the help wanted signs at restaurants and stores across Albuquerque. The New Mexico Restaurant Association says business owners have had a hard time finding employees for months, and there are a couple of reasons why. What we're seeing right now is that people are very comfortable on unemployment and there's been extensions of unemployment. And we're also seeing many folks who have moved out of the state um, to work in states that have been open this whole time. Today we saw help wanted signs from downtown to Old Town and on the west side at restaurants and retailers. Carol White with the New Mexico Restaurant Association says it's unclear just how many positions are needed within the state's 3,300 restaurants, but that the need is growing as counties reach reopening levels, allowing greater capacity. Department of Workforce Solutions Secretary Bill McCamley says as COVID numbers come down, his department is transitioning their focus solely from unemployment benefits now to also helping people get back to work. Their workforce connection centers will reopen Monday for the first time in over a year. It is not our intention to put mandatory work search requirements back in just yet in terms of unemployment, but we are going to start doing more to uh, allow for people who want to go back to work the resources they need in to get into those jobs. People will be able to make an appointment to get help with job searches, writing resumes and assistance with interviews. You can find all of those details at always on KRQE.com. McCambly is also encouraging employers to report anyone who turns down a job offer to the Department of Workforce Solutions through their online form. He says that is criteria that can be used to stop to stop someone's unemployment benefits. Back to you. OK, thanks, Jackie. Now, as of this morning, there are more than 105,000 New Mexicans receiving unemployment benefits. That's a drop of just about 4,000 since the beginning of the month.